Good evening and welcome to the Job Search Solution, the radio program where we talk about looking for a job, changing jobs, changing careers, hiring. And as always, we begin with a prayer. Dear God, grant us thy peace and thy mercy. Thy will be done. And in just a few minutes, as we do every Wednesday evening, we're going to have Rich Levinsky here speaking with us about consultants in the workplace. He's got a real interesting observation this evening. But meanwhile, I wanted to speak about in this first session, uh, we've been talking about the myths of hiring and the myths that go on out there in getting hired and hiring people. And the next myth we wanted to discuss was the myth of the MBA. Yeah, I know everybody thinks we got to get an MBA. It would be nice to have an MBA. Let's see if we can find somebody with an MBA. And people that go in business want to eventually often aspire to get an MBA. And I got to tell you that it's a myth. Now, I saw a billboard the other day that claimed that one of the local universities uh, could prove that their graduates of MBA programs, of their MBA program, earned a million dollars more over a period of their career than people that came from either other schools or didn't have MBAs or that kind of thing. Implying that if you go to their school and get an MBA, you're gonna make a million dollars more over your career. Well, it, that may be true, but it's not because somebody has an MBA. Now I've got a PhD, you don't care. Neither do the clients that I work with care. The candidates that I place don't care that I have a PhD. It doesn't matter to them. They don't care. Now, we value education in this country. And there are a lot of companies that require, for instance, a person to have a bachelor's degree. Why? Well, it keeps them from having to interview more people. So they can put a um, stipulation that we need to have a bachelor's degree. I've never in the 49 years that I've been doing this ever seen anybody hired because they had an MBA. Now, it might be true that they were good at what they did. And because they were good at what they did, they did lots of other things like get an MBA. Christopher Jinks, back when I was in higher education, that's what my PhD is in, uh, back in the 60s, proved that the, um, the going up and down the economic scale in the United States doesn't have anything to do with your degrees. Now, because we value education, company, uh, we as individuals think, well, we got to get more education and it makes us look good. Well, that may be true. I submit to you that the people that get an MBA are also the people that are going to be successful at lots of other things they do. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be successful at business. It means that they were successful academically. I, to give you proof of that, um, how about if I went to St. Louis University and said, look, I don't really need this PhD anymore. I'd like to sell it back to you and you give me back the money that I paid for it. They're not going to do that. Now, again, it may be true that people with MBAs make more money, but it's not because they have an MBA. It's because they are achievers and they've always been achievers and they're always going to be achievers. And since um, our society values uh, education. They got an MBA and they think it makes them better. Well, it doesn't make them better intrinsically with the MBA. They're better anyhow. So you can be certainly successful without necessarily having an MBA. Just remember that the schools love to ha have MBAs come into their programs. Because the student to uh, teacher ratio in MBA programs is really high. They get hordes of students, three or 400 at a time in a class, and it helps pay for all of the STEM courses that the university has to pay for 
that are very expensive and the student to teacher uh, professor ratio is very low and they're harder to do. And an MBA program pays for all of those programs. So the universities are making a killing. I looked it up last night and the average MBA um, is costs thirty-eight thousand dollars in the United States, and if you're uh, going to an Ivy League school, it's more than a hundred thousand dollars. Do it if you want to, um, I, you know, free country, and but don't think that you're going to necessarily get a better job, or be a better business person, or anything like that just because you have an MBA. Now it might be that you might learn something that you can apply somewhere, but I submit to you that you can learn that kind of thing in lots of other places too. So don't think that you're just gonna get a better job and you're all of a sudden you're gonna have make more money and uh, be a better person uh, necessarily because you have an MBA. And I've had candidates over the years that said, well, now that I have my MBA, I read on the internet or our school told me that I should go out and get a guy told me not too long ago, a $30,000 a year raise since I have an MBA. Hey, that ain't going to happen. I mean, just come on, that ain't going to happen. Now, if you have good reason and you want to learn and you think that you're going to be, become a better person and you're going to grow personally because of your MBA, amen, brother, fine, no problem. Don't have a problem with that. But um, when I wrote my dissertation for my, my uh, PhD, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about me. And I guess looking back on it, it's helped me write the seven books that I've written. But it doesn't necessarily make me any better at finding people jobs or make me a better business person. So think about it. Is it worth that kind of money and investment? It might be to you personally. But don't think that just because you have an MBA, you're going to get a better job or become a better business person. All right, stay tuned. Don't go away. This is Tony Bashara with the Job Search Solution.